summer is nearly over. The days are becoming shorter and the sun is lower in the sky. The last of the wild berries are ripe, and the seeds are mature. Reduced sunlight and cooler temperatures cause the forests to yield their summer greens to brilliant reds and yellows. is a time of great activity for insects and other animals. Bees move constantly among the final wildflowers of the preceding spring. Autumn is a time of harvest and storage. And for the bee, that means filling the hive with nectar. Before too long, the ponds will freeze and all the plants will be covered by several feet of snow. A beaver lives in this pond. By building a dam and a lodge, the beaver has created a suitable environment for itself. In autumn, the beaver prepares for the oncoming winter by gathering a supply of limbs and branches. Its favorite food is the layer of soft tissue between the bark and wood. Although the surface waters may freeze, underneath the ice covering, the beaver swims and feeds on the branches it collected during autumn. The cooler days of autumn are a signal for animals that cannot survive the harsh winter climate that it's time to move elsewhere. Animals that move with the seasons are called migrators. For some migrators, like these geese, the approaching winter means they will fly south several hundred miles to a warmer climate. Other birds, like the Arctic tern, make far greater journeys. Terns migrate between the North and South Poles for an annual round trip of almost 12,000 miles. The migration of birds is one of the most readily observed actions resulting from a change in seasons. However, birds are not the only migrators. Monarch butterflies also migrate. They travel in large groups and their migratory route can span several hundred miles. Some types of fish also migrate. Pacific salmon move from ocean salt water to the fresh waters of their home spawning grounds. When the migratory routes of a predator, like the bald eagle, cross a river where there are large numbers of migrating fish, the eagles pause in their journey and feast on their favorite food. other animals which do not migrate and which are unable to survive the winter season. Nature has equipped these animals with the ability to spend the coldest months of winter underground in a state of dormancy. Rodents like the prairie dog and ground squirrels 
gorge themselves on grass in late summer and then retire to their dens to hibernate until early spring. Some bears, like the grizzly, hibernate throughout winter, while others, like the black bear, awaken for occasional activity. Many insects spend the winter dormant. High above the forest floor, along the mountain peaks and slopes, autumn is progressing much more rapidly. Up there, the first snows have already covered the mountain tops. At these higher elevations, the autumn season is very short. The deciduous trees quickly change color, then shed their leaves. Like other living things, plants prepare for winter. Green plants make their food with the help of light, a process we call photosynthesis. By dropping their leaves and flowers, plants reduce their requirements for food, light, and water, and enter a period of dormancy. The nights are already cold enough to cause some freezing. Large mammals like the bull moose that have spent the summer on these hillsides begin moving to lower elevations. There are some animals which will remain at these higher elevations for most of the winter. Bighorn sheep live in the high mountains. From now until spring, dried grasses will be the sheep's only available food. A mid-autumn snowfall at this altitude is not unusual, but it makes finding food more difficult. These sheep will have to work much harder to uncover the grasses buried by the deep snows of winter. For the bighorn, this is the mating season, and the mountains echo with the crack of butting heads. Another animal which spends its winters in the high country is the pika. Unlike the bighorn sheep, which digs in the snowfields for grasses to eat as needed, the pika spends the weeks of autumn collecting and storing its winter food. The pika gathers dried grasses and piles them into a haystack. Then, during winter, the pika lives inside the haystack, using it for shelter and for food. A neighbor of the pikas is the ptarmigan. Both animals live amid alpine scenery. While the pika is hiding in its haystack during winter, the ptarmigan is also hiding, but in a completely different way. Each season, nature provides the ptarmigan with a disguise or camouflage by changing the color of its feathers to resemble the basic colors of each of the seasons. For example, by the time the winter snows arrive, the ptarmigan has turned completely white. At the lower elevations, throughout the forests and meadows, the autumn season lasts a little longer. For many animals, autumn is the mating season. An elk bugle rings out as bulls challenge each other for the right to mate. Usually only the males are involved as they test each other's strength and endurance. 
The mating season lasts for several weeks, and many different species of animals are involved. Soon the days of autumn have grown short, and the streams and ponds begin to freeze. Food becomes more scarce, and the last of the migrators leave. hibernators return to their dens. Throughout most of the year, the coyote is considered a predator as it hunts for its food of smaller animals, like the ground squirrel and other rodents. But now, in late autumn, with most of the rodents in hibernation, the coyote must look for new sources of food. Protected against the cold by a rich, deep pile of fur, the coyote will survive the winter months by becoming a scavenger. It will feed on the carcasses of animals which have succumbed to the harsh winter weather. For animals that eat plants, winter means that food will be scarce. Animals like the moose, which normally eat budding willows and lush underwater plants, must now survive on the dried and dead grasses of autumn, which will soon be buried under deep snows. The young animals that will face their first winter have gained considerable weight during the summer, and their coats of fur have thickened. Now, with autumn over, there seems little to do but await the approaching storms. Autumn is a season marked by colorful changes in trees and plants. When many plants have yielded their fruit and have gone to seed. It is a time when animals eat vigorously Their coats become rich and thick in preparation to withstand the coming winter. Those animals which cannot live in cold climates migrate to warmer ones or spend the winter months in hibernation. Autumn is also a time when many animals mate. Autumn is a time spent in preparation to survive the winter.